Welcome to Tirana here. I'm uh, broadcasting from uh, the 110th uh, anniversary of, Austria, of Albania, of course, Albanian independence and Austrian Albanian friendship. Austria is now celebrating this historic date. It will be November 2022, but we are already starting here with the celebration. 110 years, of course, a big thing, 1912. Austria was uh, together with Italy and others, but Austria and Hungary was important in the recognition of Albania out of the break up of the Ottoman Empire. And it's an important example because you see also the breakup of Russia coming, don't forget. I'm very much for the breakup of Russia. And of course, these breakups are complicated, but it took some courage. The new nations wanted to be free. Austria at that time was ready. This, by the way, is the so-called New Bazaar. This is one of the city development projects of Albania. And it's a very nice, uh, well done American Albanian Development Fund has made this beautiful uh, renovation project. And I'm very happy for it. It's uh, with a fish market, a beautiful hotel and tourism area. It's really very nice. And it's my favorite area in Tirana. And I'm happy I can stay here. This area is really very meaningful. And it's very important, you see here, Avni Rustemi, one of the heroes of uh, Albanian freedom. This is his monument, his square, and it's a very beautiful uh, place here. And a lot of interesting old Italian architecture. And you see also the streets have developed very well here. You have a very good uh, bicycle lane in which I'm walking now. <laughs> That's not the idea. You have Mount Daiti over there. The traffic is now flowing much better than in the past and now 2022 it's really much improved the city. Uh, it's really quite um, astonishing how good the city has developed in recent years and of course as I will now in this conference um, say it's time for EU membership because Albania has overtaken Austria already on the way to NATO since 2009 Albania is in NATO and that's of course fantastic and we should all, especially Austria, learn from that. And I'm calling for Austria NATO membership if you had any doubts. No, the city is very good. You see very modern people here of course have leapfrogged technology and this Mediterranean city here now at the beginning of October is really very beautiful. And I congratulate all Albanians for 110 years of independence and what you see it's a major construction boom. Some of you have seen my videos in the past and thanks a lot for watching them. And this is a very, you know, spectacular development which the city makes recently. I'm walking now from Bazaar Re. That's the Albanian word for new bazaar. And that's very good to the inner city. And the conference will be in Hotel Rogna. And here you see this one is Neptune. It's uh, like Austrian Saturn. and it's a very interesting story of uh, the biggest businessman of this country, Mr. Mane, who has uh, basically brought uh, the idea of Saturn <laughs> electronic chain to Albania and he became very rich in the process. He started to bring old white goods uh, to Albania after the end of the communist regime, which was so terrible actually, the worst system in Europe. I was just talking to one professor who told me the story in 93 when they came with cars from Austria by ship to Durres and then up in the north in villages where there was no foreigner since 1994. You might not. You might be surprised. Yes, I will also give a speech and I will call for EU membership. Obviously, that's my main topic. EU membership as fast as possible. Yes, that will be my topic for Albania. 2024 is entirely feasible and that's what I will try to achieve. I will have a small speech today to also talk against the open Balkans, there's no doubt, and I will enter all these debates. Here you see surprisingly huge buildings. It's opening up now here, the center of the town. This is the Maritim Hotel. Here is another big tower coming up. There is once in a while the Drin Tower. Torre Drin was the biggest building here. 
things have dramatically changed here. It's very impressive and I just can say the things are really much better than might be expected. Yes, Albania has really transformed. Question is, is Europe transforming? Here yeah, still you have to walk fast even when it's green. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's much better than it ever was. Maybe here these are very historic places. I don't want to rush through. I have shown you some of uh, this, of course, the independence uh, time, you know, 1912. Obviously, I will walk again, but I made several videos already about the independence. Maybe you have seen some. Here, this part I have not shown you so well in my podcast and it's also very meaningful area I wonder yeah, this is this one I don't know exactly you know, there's, I really don't like the communist memorials culture but they have quite a lot of them that's a typical communist you know all oh, their partisan kind of trash culture. I'm really very much against that one. Schlerimi yeah. That's of course. You know, they see, uh, of course, you know, the communists never said thank you to the British or the, the Americans. Always this kind of only themselves have liberated Albania in reality without British support none of them would have survived under the really very dominant German army yes here of course very beautiful monuments here we have this Mappetim Hotel I want to show you this and I'm calling obviously for Albania to adopt the Euro and that's uh, my claim which I want to make. This was what the former Democratic Party was, some might remember. I will show you as well here the monument of the memory of Asem Haidari. That's now here. And you have basically here the walk from the Basai Re towards the 98 memorial. And that's, of course, very dramatic moment in Albanian history here. This was the student leader of December 1990 and he died in 98 under still quite unclear circumstances. Yeah? Over there you see the Kalaya, that's basically the remaining old town of uh, Tirana. And there's not so much left, unfortunately, but the they have pedestrianized that street, the Toptani street. That's one of the noble families of Albania. I will show you that one as well in this morning walk. And I recommend you to visit this beautiful town. You see here a lot is going on. And we have here very modern buildings. And that's basically the back of the Skander Beblet uh, Square, which is now pedestrianized. This is the Strove Trin. And this is one of the few, it was called Sarai restaurant. It's still, I think, not really fully open. It's one of the few remaining cultural monuments of the Ottoman time. Because unfortunately, a lot was destroyed by the Italians uh, when they redesigned the cities in the 1930s and try to make it this kind of European city. But some buildings are still there and I think they should be protected. I mean, that's Europe here. We should keep the cultural and architectural monuments protected. There's unfortunately a lot of destruction and to make place for the new things. But here we're coming to something I like very much. They have started a better culture of memorial culture 
yeah, I have to cross the street and so on. That's the one big street which is still around with a lot of traffic. So, yeah, different concept of living. That will be very big book building. Wow, that's a big project as well. Here the European flag is flying high. It's now historic at the time of recognition. That's the Ministry of Infrastructure. It's a historic opening of the negotiation that I wanted to say. That's really something, you know, took a war to achieve it. That's something else to wonder why we always need wars to achieve anything. But that's a bit the situation in Europe. Here you see this amazing opening, this beautiful square, these Italian buildings. And here you see this beautiful place here. That's the Museum of the Communists. That's basically the underground bunker of uh, the communist uh, system. Down here, uh, in my podcast, you have already seen some of it. It is actually the, um, online already. You can, one of my further visits, you see, and that's the commando bunker of Enver Hoxha. It's quite amazing. And from here, he has the red telephone is still there. They were always thinking they will be attacked and invaded as if anybody would like to invade Albania, maybe liberate. That would be the better term. But even that, nobody was really ready for that. Here you see this beautiful Skanda Bay Square. And uh, everywhere now you see also the Albanian flag flying high. It's very good. And I call now for fast track EU membership. That's my claim here. I want Albania to be fast in the European Union. And here we go with the European flag now flying everywhere. That's very good. Since EU negotiation breakthrough in July, historic date, we have really much better attitude here. This is still the most beautiful square in uh, Southeastern Europe. I love it. With the Skander Bay here, I have shown you. And obviously, this beautiful place, I will also make a call for the Euro, for Albania, for EU membership and for fast track EU negotiations. Yeah, This is what we need here and this is very important to achieve it and I hope that we can be now in the light of the hammer blows of the Russian invasion, make some significant progress in this beautiful country and I think Albania has deserved this. And this is my walk now from the New Bazaar here towards uh, this beautiful place. And I will make now some uh, photos and then a second video. And please support uh, EU membership of Albania. 2024 is possible. Speed up. Let's adopt the euro. And please uh, support Ukraine to join NATO. And please Kosovo in NATO as well, Bosnia. And let's get a bit faster here. <laughs> Not, it's nice to have an EPC. European political community, but what we really need is fast track EU integration of this beautiful country in 2024. All three allies, Montenegro, North Macedonia and Albania must join the European Union in 2024. Thanks a lot. All the best. Bye.